So, first step is rip off that drop trim bit. You'll have clips there, there. You'll have a bolt there and a bolt in there. And on the four doors, there's also some of them fancy clip things in on there. So take them out and then pop this up. Get a pry bar, or if yours is a seal like this, and then disconnect the clip in the back. You need to pull the door pocket out. This can be a bit tricky when they're not been removed before, but put your hand in there, slide and pull up, and after that, a trim removal tool really helps with this next step, but get it in the back of the door, behind the card, and then pop the poppers off. This can be tricky if it's going to be done for the first time again. But um, yeah, it you will get there. Just yank on it. So start at a corner, then pull it along. Keep pulling. Needs two hands. <coughs> then once you've done that, lift up and over the door lock. Drill the rivets and then pull the speaker off. Cut that off, solder in the new speaker wires. As you can see, I've just pulled the old GRC speakers out. Um, you have to buy an adapter for them, and then the adapter will give you the speaker size. I'll hopefully put that in the comments. So that's the door speakers. This is my dash speakers setup. I run tweeters off them. Got a little crossover box, so it only runs the the mid. But yeah. No, if I was feeling fancy. I would um, drill these holes out a bit larger and put some threaded inserts in but um, these have literally not let me down the whole time I had my other gear so <laughs> in goes the bolts Okay, so to wire these up properly, we need to know which one's negative and which one's positive, but how do you do that? We need to go see the hedge unit. Or you could look right here at this lovely diagram that I've made for you that tells you which wire is which. And when you come to wiring in your speakers, the smaller connector is usually the negative one. Alright, so I'm going to do all my soldering at once, so I've marked the cables which one's which. And now we're on the dash speakers. So dash are really easy to get to. Insert your trim removal tool and pop that clip off just like that. These two 8mm and then it's out. As easy as that. If you're struggling with extra length, there is a little clip inside that you can just barely see that you can pull off the cable. And there you go, you've got more length to work with. So a quick rundown on your harness. If you're wondering what, what's what, Basically, your black is your ground, orange is your illumination if you've got it set up, uh, red is 12 volt power, um, ignition power, accessory power, tells the head unit to turn, to turn on and off, your yellow is your battery power, and the blue is a remote, so if you've got a subwoofer or something like a powered antennae, uh, this remote sends a 12, uh, 12 volt signal to that ever whatever accessory you've got so it can tell it to turn on when the head unit turns on and then the other plug, the brown plug you've got all your speaker wires this connector on its own is the rear speakers 
and then the speakers that go into the actual main head unit one they are your dash speakers yeah so if you want to get rid of your dash speakers or something and run some rear speakers you could cut the dash speakers out and then wire them all in yeah there's lots of things you can do so my setup's kind of weird um, I didn't like the fact that the tweeters were directly pointing up towards this windscreen which uh, made it sound absolutely awful I felt so I installed this um, crossover which kind of splits the signal so it sends all the, the nice highs to the tweeters and then the mids to the, the actual speaker now you might be thinking that's a bit silly considering it's got a uh, tweeter on it but um, yeah you can solder these off and it means that all the power is going to here and, and it's getting wasted on here but I mean these things have little resistors on them that looks like a capacitor if anything um, <laughs> But yeah, they, they basically split signals um, anyways. But yeah, no, um, so that's my little silly system. You'll just have, if you've just bought, I think these are 10 centimeter speakers, we don't say. Um, if you've just bought 10 centimeter speakers, then you will just have to wire them in just normally. Now for here, you could either solder your wires, crimp them, or be an absolute bandit and twist them and, and tape them. But I would really recommend either soldering them or crimping them. So first step is to strip the wires back, insert your heat shrink, remember your heat shrink, twist your wires together and then solder them. Or if you're crimping them, cut your wires, strip them and then put your connector on and connect them together. So I've soldered these in, and I'm just going to test them quickly. Uh, I'll turn on the car, turn on the head unit and all that, and make sure the connections are all okay. Tape your wires and then put your door cars back on, and then that's you finished. Enjoy your new bang and sound system. If this video helped you, then make sure you like it, and if you want to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe and check out the channel.